This is Miss uh, Elizabeth Hurd, and she is the director here at the Pioneer Village. And we're so thankful for all the effort that she puts into this event, and these two events actually a year. And could you tell us briefly just how this event came about? Pioneer Village is a preservation project of the White County Historical Society. And the events began as a fundraiser for the village. We operate independently financially from the Historical Society and the events that we hold at the village are used to provide funds for the maintenance, repair, and upkeep of the buildings. As you boil the water, salt falls out into the bottom and forms crystals. It looks just about like wet sand. There's some here around my house. I didn't see it. But that's some that we boiled over earlier. And they would use that to preserve ham and bacon and things so we didn't have refrigeration. Salt was so important to the Confederate Army that you were exempt from service if you stayed back and made salt. here with my good friend Terry who's better known as Hillbilly. If you've watched the Living Tradition Homestead videos and follow their channel, they mentioned this fella here recently on one of their, their videos that they did when they were talking about their hope, their milk cow, their Jersey milk cow that they've got. Terry, Hillbilly brother, you got anything you want to say? Oh, a few stories. Probably ain't got time to tell them all. And that we had some possums up a tree or two and and that but we just give a shout out to Sarah and Kevin and and the two girls from the Pioneer Village at Searcy, Arkansas. see there's a sign out there by the parking lot that you have plans to expand. There's a sign up there uh, about a museum that's going to be built here. There is a sign. There is a sign for a museum. Uh, a couple of years ago we came up with the idea and we've made a lot of progress with the plans for a new building. We have so many artifacts here in the village and all the items have been given to us plus we have many many items in storage that require a different environment than the village they really need to be in a climate controlled environment and we just can't offer that here so we're building an actual museum building where we will be able to uh, display those items and keep them in climate control as well as perhaps have even traveling exhibits so it will allow us to further share the history of Searcy, White County and Arkansas with the public. Well, this is a spring pole lathe, and uh, the whole operation is uh, kind of condensed in one deal. Instead of having a pole up above the spring pin, when you press on the lever, it turns the wood, release it, and the spring pole brings it back. So that way you, don't, you can only cut on the downstroke. Well, if you get tired, you got two two motors, you left and right. All right, we're here at the Pioneer Village. We're having a blast. 
a lot of people out here today. Less beautiful weather. I don't. And I got to meet my friend, uh, the Preacher's Day Off. His name Harold. He has a YouTube channel, and you need to check him out. It's the Preacher's Day Off. He does a lot of stuff: gardening, hunting, fishing, reloading, and, and things of that nature. And you need to check him out. He's got a really great channel. And here's the thing: we live about 40 minutes apart, and we drove two hours, almost three hours, down here to meet each other. So this should never have to happen again. <laughs> That's kind of the way we do things. <laughs> What other events do you have on your calendar that's coming up pretty soon here? The closest event we have will be our Christmas open house. And it's always the first Saturday in December. This year it will be the seventh and it's only one day. Whereas our fall, spring and fall events are two days. The Christmas event is one day. We decorate the buildings in the village like the late 1800s with fresh greenery, live trees, handmade ornaments. We have hot cider and a cookie that we serve to all of our guests. We have Santa in his sleigh here and he's one of the most popular things that are happening that weekend. I'm sure. Carolers and it's just a real good family event and we guarantee that it will jump start your feelings of the Christmas spirit. Uh, this is Gary from uh, Fitzpatrick, Fitz Preacher Farms. I'll get it right in a minute. We've met two or three preachers here today, so maybe we'll all get straightened out before the day's over. But we're glad to have him with us today, and you need to check out his channel, Fitz Preacher Farms. Appreciate that. You bet, bro. Nice to meet you, brother. Appreciate you. Take care, now. the tools that would have been used in a field hospital in the 1860s. These are replicas of similar surgical tools that would have been used in the Middle Ages in the 13, 1400 era. Come to the ready. Gun one, fire. Okay, if, if somebody wanted to contact you, how could they reach you here at Pioneer Village? The easiest way would be through our Facebook page, and we're on Facebook as Pioneer Village Searcy AR, and that seems pretty long and complicated, but if you just put in uh, Pioneer Village, you'll get a million records. So if you want to hone it right down to this village, you need to add the Searcy AR. Our events that we are going to have are having, because we post live from the events also, will be on the Facebook page and you can contact us through that, even, even if you have a different type of question, or maybe about a history question or whatever. Uh, schedule a field trip. We do a lot of field trips here for both children and adults, church groups. Uh, we've had a wedding, we've even had a funeral here, so we do lots of things here at Pioneer Village. But the best way to contact us will be through our Facebook page. Miss Elizabeth, thank you. Well, thank you, Paul. We're so happy that you have decided to be a part of our group. We look forward to you coming every time. I appreciate time. it. Thank, thank you. So you. Bless you.